As you probably know by now, I recently started to learn Python and I also decided to learn Django to better understand how web applications work and how front-end and back-end work together. I found an awesome tutorial on Udemy and started to learn it. Unfortunately, it only shows you how to install Django on Linux and I still have a Windows machine at home to play games mostly. So I will show you how to install Django on Windows 10 and get started with the full stack development environment. It's the first time for me installing Django on Windows 10 as well, but I have the official documentation open and let's see how easy it is to follow that. I assume that you have Python 3.7 or whatever is the newest version already installed and that you have selected add to path while you were installing it. You can leave everything on default while installing Python and just need to put this little check mark add to path. I think it's even selected by default now in the newer versions. So make sure you have Python installed and let's get started with the installation. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and install pip. Open my web browser, enter this address and you want to right click the get-pip.py uh, file and click on Safe link as for you it's safe link as I have a German browser in here, but apparently you're gonna install Windows in English, whatever. Just make sure you save it as a Python file. Click on save and you see that it's a Python file actually downloaded. Next you need to go ahead and open a PowerShell window with administrative rights. So type PowerShell and right-click it, run as administrator. That opens PowerShell as an administrator. Then you need to go somehow to your downloads folder, which you can easily do by typing cd uh, c colon and uh, backslash and then users and you can always press the tab key to autocomplete and then your username. So if you don't know what your username is, just hit the tab button and you will see all available users there and then downloads. And once you are in there, we have to python get-pip.py and it should install pip. If python is correctly installed and added to path for you, it should be doing what it's doing here. And we are done. Now that we have installed pip, we can go ahead and run a whole couple of new instructions or commands. So we clear the screen here and we will install the virtual env wrapper which is recommended on the official Django document, um, documentation. So type pip install, which should work now, let's see, virtual env wrapper dash win and it should be doing it, yes it's doing it, awesome. As I said it's the first time for me too, I just follow the documentation and see if it works. Then you want to type uh, make probably virtual env and my project or test project. Now it's creating a new folder and you can see or make a new environment probably and it's creating it in here. Programs Python, Python 3.7, test project. So it's installing some setup tools and the installation is done. Next you need to do work on and type test project or whatever the project name was to set the path. And next we can just go ahead and install Django with pip. Let's clear the screen first. pip install Django. And it's downloading Django. A couple of seconds later the installation is finished and we can check if it everything uh, worked and everything is installed correctly. We can type Django admin admin dash dash version and we should get the installed version of Django which is 2.1.5. So this was pretty easy. Django is installed. Everything works. This is how to install Django on Windows 10. I thought it would be more difficult, but it was actually really easy. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, please. Also consider subscribing to the channel. As I go, I will probably maybe publish more Python or Django tutorials, depending on how much I will actually work with it. So if you like that kind of content, 
leave a comment below if you want to see more of Django and Python, also leave a comment. And again, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.